Tier 9 Challenger 2 main battle tank arrived on the battlefield amidst a devolving political situation. Low intensity skirmishes in Africa were being fought with obsolete equipment and outdated armor. There were no clear victories. The Challenger 2, originally designed and produced in Britain, was expected to be a dominant force when it hit the modern conflict zones. Marat Shishkin, a preeminent arms dealer, acquired a large number of the newest variants of the tank from a defunct military base in the UK. It was these tanks that entered the battlefields of Africa after being sold to various private military contractors and mercenaries. Upgrades like the 1500 horsepower MT883 diesel engine gave it decent speed and good mobility. Depleted uranium Jericho shells fired from its 120 millimeter rifled gun allowed it to tear through the outdated T-72s, which made up the bulk of the private military's arsenal before the Challenger 2's arrival. The very nature of the African conflict changed with the Challenger 2's arrival. Rolling through the smoke of their own grenades, with enemy shells rendered useless by explosive reactive armor, the Challenger 2 was unstoppable. The Challenger 2 is available to all players in armored warfare now. Conflict is business. Play Armored Warfare for free today at armoredwarfare.com.